everybody, Tom Varnish, Chicago Scene in the Fulton Market neighborhood at Next World's Fair. And this is all things World's Fair from the Chicago World's Fair in 1893. Celebrated in a neighborhood that's experienced its own revitalization as we are in the Fulton Market West Loop, which used to be something completely different years ago. But that's what this whole concept is. It's remembering where we came from, bringing it to future, but remembering the past and remembering what made it so special. And that's what Next does with this particular menu from the World's Fair, taking all all these sensory with your food with your hearing with the music the whole ambiance inside it's truly an experience that you need to check out here in the Fulton Market I'm gonna talk to chef Ed who will tell us all about it now for the Chicago scene so let's head inside all right so I finally made it inside the famed next and I'm here with chef Ed how are you sir I'm very good how are you? Uh, I'm wonderful. Thank you for taking time out of your day. I know I pulled you away from a call and I appreciate that <laughs> just because I realize what this place is and what the company you work for represents to Chicago. So I appreciate the time that you are taking. No, thank, thank you for coming and giving us a shot. Absolutely. So for folks who have not heard of Next, you know, you guys are celebrating 10 years. You've been around for a while, but I feel like with the pandemic, people kind of forgot about certain things. And so I want to take this opportunity to remind them. First, you are from New York. You made your way here to work for the Alinea Group and you started off as a line cook here at Next, correct? Yeah, correct. I started here about eight years and a half. Uh, opposite of what people usually do here in Chicago when they want to either make it move to either the West Coast or the East Coast. Uh, for me, it was a little opposite. I actually came <laughs> to Chicago to try to make it uh, under Grand Ackets. Right, I think that speaks volumes, especially coming from you know the East Coast, New York City, you spent some time there. What was it about coming to Chicago and working for Grant that drew you here? And then now you are the chef here at Next. Yeah, I mean, uh, New York City, obviously known for the restaurant and the food industry. So many restaurants, so many opportunities. Um, and when I was 22, I just felt like I needed to kind of step out of my comfort zone and really, really put myself in a, in, a, in a place where I was gonna be, you know, uncomfortable and kind of pushing myself uh, creatively, but also, you know, uh, manually. And that happens here for sure, just because it started off where you had changed out menus a few times a year, but because of the pandemic, you guys have kind of pared that down to how many now? So right now we're, we're trying to do it uh, twice a year. Uh, because of the beginning of the year, we had some restrictions, limitations on capacity inside within the, the room. Mm -hmm. um, so we wanted to give everyone a chance to be able to come in here and experience it throughout longer periods of time. So earlier this year in February, you guys focused on something that's very near and dear to Chicago. And despite it being 100 plus years ago, the 1893 World's Fair. Talk about why that was the topic to showcase and what that means for the dining experience. Uh, for us was trying to make a menu that would kind of reflect what we're going through uh, in a way that we can kind of put some history behind it. Obviously us moving through a pandemic into hopefully now a better time. Uh, our creative process was like, how can we showcase that through food? Mm -hmm. uh, and we felt that you know, with, with us trying to recreate ourselves and bring new technology in a way with new concepts, uh, the World's Fair was the perfect theme. You know, because the first World's Fair in 1893 was after the Chicago fire, kind right. of rebuilding the city a little bit that way. Um, so we wanted, I, I, we thought that the, the concept would be perfect for us. Also showcasing not just the Chicago, but all over the world. Right, yeah, different was... cuisines, different types of food, um, and I feel like that's where sort of the restaurants moving outside of that comf uh, out of comfort zone of, mm -hmm. of creating cuisines from around the world and, and having a personal touch with them. Um, so we felt it was perfect for, for this time for us. Right, and in the uh, the World's Fair of 1893, it was all about innovation. They had to build that city really quickly. Uh, that's why I got nicknamed the Devil, or I'm sorry, that's a book. Uh, yeah. The White City, the White city. Uh, uh, you know, was built the way they built it, but they had all this new technology, new innovation in there. And that's kind of what you brought with the dining experience here, because that's what it really is here. It's an experience, you know, lifestyle that you want to show. So, like, what can people expect from the menu if they haven't seen that just yet? 
Um, it is definitely a, a, a story driven uh, menu. Mm -hmm. uh, obviously delicious food, but we really wanted to nail down the history behind the events that happened. Uh, Thomas Edison, mm -hmm. um, Tesla, right, all yeah. these other events that happened, the creation of the light bulb, uh, electricity, the, the golden egg, right? So we wanted to really uh, showcase those events through the food uh, in a modern way. Mm -hmm. In a way, us innovating ourselves, right, uh, within this space. What are some of your favorite ones that you have on the menu? For sure, the first uh, the first course, um, the Tesla Golden Egg, mm -hmm. for me was, you know, the first time I saw the device of the copper egg spinning mm -hmm. within the magnets, I thought it was mind blowing. Uh, and Especially for back then, right? Even yeah, now, yeah, for back then, something moving without without mm -hmm. physically someone moving it, it mm -hmm. was it was mind blowing, uh, and and for me it was like I just took that as a challenge. It was like, how can I recreate that that movement? Mm -hmm. Um, so the first the first course is actually an onion custer with the palm souffle that is filled with smoke, uh, hickory smoke and caviar. So when you crack it, the smoke comes out, and that for me kind of recreates the movement of the of the egg. So that's definitely one of my favorite ones. Right, and I noticed that from the pictures I've seen online, you know, you have I think I saw something with the cracker jacks in there as well. Like it's not maybe what people might think of an experience with you know Alinea Group or here at Next, but because it's the World's Fair, you have to incorporate those things that were part of life back then. And you, I think you did that in an excellent way. Yeah, I think, I mean, that was honestly, chefs, Chef Ackett's is always really good at putting the real facts into a menu. Mm -hmm. um, you know, he, he did a, couple, a, a lot of research on, on these byproducts that were created, the Cracker Jack, the, you know, the other, the other small things that, like with the hot dog, yeah, for example, right, yeah. um, that were very important for us, the PBR that's a staple for of, of the Midwest right now. You know, those things that we see now, but don't really relate to the history that we're able to implement because they were created in the World's Fair. Right, and I think that's like a great example of what we were talking about earlier, where we're kind of in that time where we need to remind people of like who we are, where we're coming from, where we came from, and I feel like this experience is a great arcing back to even something prior to that, to come back out though into a city in a neighborhood that historically wasn't what it is now, but is this vibrant new community of restaurants and life and culture and art. It really encompasses everything I feel that, at least from an outsider, feels like what the experience should be when they come to next. Yeah, I mean, uh, me and Alex Gonzalez have really focused on making sure that we create a very special uh, space in here where we want people to sometimes forget the outside world when they come in here. And I think that was our goal when we talked about the World's Fair is, you know, it's next World's Fair. Mm -hmm. so when you come in here, you we want you to experience that same feeling that hopefully we can recreate from the past, but it's a totally different space in here. Obviously with Fulton Market be becoming such a bigger uh, staple of the city now, mm -hmm. uh, but when you walk in the space, we want you to feel like you're in a different place. Absolutely, and that is definitely happening when you walk in here with the flags, the decor, and you guys leave no stone unturned because you it's the sensory with the food, the, the sound, the music, and just the decor in here in general. It's just, a, it's a really unique experience and a very, it's an ode to Chicago. So congrats on that, that's great. Thank you very much. For people who have never been down this way, uh, it's not something that you can kind of just walk in. Uh, you have to go ahead and make reservations ahead of time. What's the best way for them to go about doing that? Um, believe it or not, you could definitely walk in here on a Wednesday and Thursday. Then we, we might have a table uh, available, but the best way to go is on Talk, mm -hmm. um, uh, on the app or on the website, uh, talk.com slash next, mm -hmm. uh, and you can definitely book any, any table. Hopefully there's there's some uh, open. And they'll ask for Chef Ed when they walk up. Chef Ed, Ed or Ed, Chef Ed, yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, and for uh, the social media handles, just cause because that's how I found you guys, was just on the, these incredible photos that you have on social media. What's the uh, handle for that? Um, you can either go to Next Chicago mm -hmm. uh, uh, or the Alinea Group uh, Instagram. Uh, and those are probably the best the best handles for it to find. And before, thank you, Chef. And before we, I let you get out of here and get back to your kitchen duties, uh, is this something that you think will stick around for a little while because of coming out of the pandemic, the uh, World's Fair experience? I think it will probably run for a couple more months. The demand is definitely there. We want to make sure that we are flexible for anyone that want to come and check it out. Uh, but I'll definitely 
I, I, I'm, we're, they're starting to work on, on different concepts for next menu, so I would probably think that by July the menu's still going. Any, any previews to the next menu? I can't tell <laughs> you. <laughs> Just, I'm a journalist, sir, I had to ask. <laughs> but thank you very much. I appreciate the time, I, Jeff. I appreciate you. Absolutely. All right, so that is the story of next here in the Fulton Market, T-B-A-R-N-A-S at WGNTV.com. If you have a suggestion for the Chicago scene, that's T-Barnas at WGNTV.com. We'll see you guys later.